What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I have a very special unboxing for you guys and uh, plus some other stuff too as you guys can see. But today we're opening up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon box. And of course, yes, it's the Korean one. Much cheaper than the English one. I, I didn't end up spending, what, $2,000? Is that what the English ones are now or something? And I don't even know if that's like first edition. So anyway though, of course, I got one of these boxes to open up because it's a cool way to open up an older set but not have to sell a kidney, so that's great. And then also, too, this video is uh, sponsored by Think New. Uh, they uh, have all kinds of different Yu-Gi-Oh products. They didn't pay me to do this, but they did send me all these products, so I wanted to show them to you guys. Of course, too, if you spend $50 or more on their store, which will be down in the description, uh, then use the code CYBERNIGHT, you get 5% off your order. They have uh, a Blue Eyes Dragon hat. As you guys can see, I'm actually wearing that right now. Then, of course, they have like this acrylic Dark Magician girl, like a chibi Dark Magician girl, I guess, technically, or even like Toon Dark Magician girl is what it reminds me of, of course, which is really nice. Then, like these Blue Eyes White Dragon stickers. I like how they sent me three of them because three blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. They have this t-shirt as well, which looks really nice. I like how it has little cartoon Blue Eyes White Dragons on it. And then, uh, here's the thing I actually saw on Facebook. And this is what got me to contact them because I wanted one of these. And that is a Blue Eyes Small Dragon. S-M-O-L dragon. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I love this thing. I saw this. It's like a plush baby blue eyes white dragon. So, uh, check them out. Link in the description. Again, this was like enough reason right there to want to do a video with them. Anyway, though, kind of move a few things over so we have a little bit more room. And let's open up this box. I don't want to make you guys wait so long because I know you get quite a few packs because it is a Korean box. And again, um, since it is a Korean one, it's not that expensive. It was like, is it 15 bucks? Maybe a little bit higher. It, it wasn't over 20. So, and I got this off eBay in case people are wondering. So, get one of these. I mean, the nostalgia is still there. And again, it's not like $1,000. So, <laughs> yeah. I want to open up more Korean packs for that reason. Although, we're always going to hunt down for the original English ones as well. You're not going to stop me from that. Let's get to it. I don't think you're even guaranteed a rare on these either. I'm going to try to remember some names. There's, you know, some nostalgia that's going to help me. Like, Forest, I think, is the name of this one. Uraby, I think I remember that one. Uh, Two-Pronged Attack, I think is the name of this card. Again, there's going to be a few guessing because I haven't seen some of these cards in a while, I'll be honest. I'm going to know the main ones, obviously. If I don't know that, just, it's, it's time to stop, right? Is that how it goes? I think that's like one of the, tri it's like Trident or something. I feel like I remember that. Witty Phantom. Flame Manipulator. Beaver Warrior. You gotta remember that. Fisher as well. Yeah, they have, like, so many of these older boxes. Where, like, Invasion of Chaos. You can get a Korean one for 20 bucks. Yeah. I mean, I'm still going to look for an English one at some point, but that is a very nice deal. <laughs> 13th Grave, by the way. I think I remember him. Aqua Matador. They have a little, little tear on them, but they're not easy to rip open. It's not like the Japanese ones, even. I'm really having to work for it. <laughs> Right? Your AB. No, I'm Ledger Sword, I think. Oh, we didn't get a rare. Okay, I couldn't remember if this set, because some Korean sets, you're not even guaranteed a rare. So I didn't know if it was that way with this. You guys can probably tell what I'm mainly hoping to get from this opening, by the way, right? Violet Crystal. I do remember that one. It's like Terra the Terrible, I think. And we got Fusionist. I remember this one. I always thought it was kind of cool. I like cats, right? So this is kind of a creepy one, but I, I like older fusions, especially the ones you can use with instant fusion. Those are something you can use a little bit more nowadays, but old rituals and fusions are just so cool, or at least to me. Oh, we got another one. Um, Was this one? Is it like Infernal Soldier? Or, no, uh, Soldier of Firestorm? It's something along those lines. I think even, like, Skull Servant is part of it or something. So, it's a cool one, though. I do... I, I feel like I see the name in my head, but I can't... I don't know. <laughs> I just can't think of the name right now. I feel like it's, like, Infernal Soldier or something. I could be wrong. Probably am. Umi. Um, it's, like, Reflector. Remember... I think I have a misprint of that one where it's like the card's like screwed up. The artwork. Uh, 
Lesser Dragon. I remember that one. I always thought he was kind of cool. Mountain. And a Mammoth Graveyard. Fuse it with your Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to make it die. That made no sense. <laughs> Even back then, I was like, wait, what? Anyone know what I'm talking about? You get extra points if you do. Do we? Yes, finally a hollow. Okay, I was hoping for something, right? Celtic Guardian. One of my favorite older cards because, I mean, come on, he's awesome. <laughs> he's really cool. And uh, there you go. Of course, which one isn't your favorite that Yugi uses, right? <laughs> There's so many of those that just have so much nostalgia. Remember using so many of these, especially back then. Like M Warrior, I think. Pot of Greed? Okay, what does it do? Guys, I can't read it. What, what does it do? I, I don't know. It's in Korean. Uh, someone's got to translate. If you translate it, then uh, you should also hit the like button. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's how you'll help me. What, was that too much? Not enough? I don't know. <laughs> I'm becoming one of those YouTubers, right? Whatever helps me survive. Never know these days, man. Basic Insect? I do remember that. Still think it's funny, Pot of Greed's like a rare. You know? You'd almost think that would be a holographic from this. Yeah, graveyard again. Ray and Temperature? And? Oh, it's Hain Hain. Okay. I don't know why I thought that was a hollow. I don't even know what the ratios are with these, by the way, either. You get so many packs. But I don't know if you're, like, guaranteed so many hollows or, or what, so. Oh. Oh, cool. We, we did get another hollow. Oh, we got Flame Swordsman. Oh, that's awesome. Another one that's really awesome to see. I mean, yeah, one of Joey's cards. Again, Joey's my favorite character. So, there you go. I mean, we, yeah, just recently got the Link Monster. The Flame Swordsman. I love that seeing older cards kind of come back. See, so he's not forgotten. Uh, there you go, uh, Skull Servant. I, say, I thought he was in this because it's weird that him and 13th Grave are in this together because they basically look like the same... Monster, really? <laughs> like they're both a skeleton? There we go, that one's tough to open. Let's see, what else? I remember a few of these commons. I just don't want to name over all of them because... Whew, that'd take a while. But I like looking at them. And it talks to me giant. I think that's right. Yeah. Because that's one of Kaiba's. Oh, there's one of the, the pandas. <laughs> all pandas in Yu-Gi-Oh! are angry. Anyone else notice that? I think all of them are. So, I don't know why. <laughs> Not happy animals. Mountain? Also, anyone else think it's cool that in Rush Duels, Mountain is going to be in that game, and it has a new, like, updated artwork? Like, it looks... Like, it's really pretty. Like, I, I don't mind the older artwork, but the new one looks like an actual painting or something. It's crazy. Check it out if you haven't seen that. I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to have to get that for sure, just because. I think they're going to do that probably with some other older cards, too. Bring them back, but give them new artworks. I would love it if they did that for the main game. Pity Angel and Fusionist again. There we go. Finally, another rare. We've kind of gone a ways without seeing a rare. Oh, yeah, we got like that. Was it Legendary Armor or something? I always thought he was also like the Headless Knight or whatever that we get later on. 13th Grave. Of course, I used to like that one when I was younger, too, because it's a knight, basically. So, suit of armor. So, there you go. Monster Egg, I think it's the name of that one. And then uh, we have... Uh, what was it? It's like... I, I know it's an instant fusion target, so I feel like I should know this one off the top of my head. It's like Fire Dragon, or... I want to say something relatively simple like that. But, yeah, it's another instant fusion target. A decent one, too, because it is actually level four. So. I've used it quite a few times in the past. I just cannot think of the name right now. Another monster egg. Come on, let's get that blue-eyes white dragon. And or dark magician. <laughs> Never a bad choice. I wish this set had ultimate rares in it. They didn't have ultimate rares yet. 
That came out a little while afterwards. Beaver Warrior. And then, uh, I think, again, that's like Infernal Soldier or something. So, Soldier Inferno. I don't know. Some variation, I feel like, of that. Of those words. Oh, we got, like, Dark Succubus. Forgot that was actually in this set. I've seen that recently in one of the games. Is the reason I, <laughs> I thought of that now. Been replaying some of the Yu-Gi-Oh games now that we're all quarantined lately. Just get that nostalgia. Basic Insect. Oh, there we go. Uh, Flower Wolf. I do remember the name of this one. This is one of the ones I actually tried to use back in the day. Like, of course, way back in the day when I'd actually try to fusion summon this. So, these days... Not that good for that, but again, it's an instant fusion card too, so it's decent for that. Like I said, I, I just love those older fusions and rituals. Like, they're so random, especially some of the fusions, like the two they would fuse together. Just always seems funny to me. Have, is that one like Sparks, I think, or something? I know that's like the one that does damage. Then we got uh, our Ninja thing. I think that's the one that goes after spells, and it's a red one that goes after uh, traps. They were pretty decent. I've used them in a recent game, too. They're like one of those starter deck cards, it seems like, and everything. Lesser Dragon. Basic Insect. All right, come on. Let's see something about a super. I need something to give me some energy. Power me up. Red Medicine. Well, close. <laughs> and, oh, uh, I think this is just Metal Dragon, if I remember correctly. It's like Lesser Dragon and... That gear grotto golem or whatever fused together, I think. I always thought he looked cool. He's like Serpentera from Power Rangers, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm old, so nobody knows what I'm talking about these days when I reference older stuff. I've, I've hit that age. I'm a boomer now. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh, there we go. Is that Final Flame? I think. I think that's right. It's like almost running away from the explosion. Another one of the M Warriors. I think that might be the one that fused with Lesser Dragon. Oh, and... Oh, I don't know why I thought we had something. I don't know. I just... Heart of the cards, they lied. There we are. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I don't know if that counts as a misprint or what, but there's certain ones of this card that have, like, the... The pin, the, I guess the feather, really, the quill, I think is what you technically call it, where you're writing in the book, and some that don't. So, I don't know if anyone else has noticed that, by the way, but, yeah, this is one without it. Then, something life, I remember on that one. Life do, or something. It's like heals your life points, basically. But, yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed that on the artworks. And there we go. Okay, there are other holographics in this set, right? Dang. And, of course, it is one of my favorites because you know my username. I mean, obviously, I can't wait for the new support for this guy, by the way, because we're getting new Guy of the Fierce Knight, new Curse of Dragon, and new Fusion and all kinds of stuff for them in the next set. So, and, and we'll get that set, I think, in August for us in English, by the way. Anyway, Gaia the Fierce Knight. <laughs> I used to love this card when it was on the show and everything, too. I get it's because of the username. You guys know if there's anything that involves a knight, I'm instantly a fan of. So I remember using this card a lot, too, back in the day. I think we got him last time we've opened up one of these as well. Like, I usually have pretty good luck getting him. So maybe he is one of my spirit cards. Have some good luck getting. Either way, I'm glad we got an Ultra. Then we got... Um, Block Defense, I believe, not Block Attack. The other one, I think, is Block Attack. Or is it Stop Defense, I guess, technically. Then, oh, we got, uh, what is that, Dragonic Warrior, I think, or something, or Soldier? One or the other. That's another one of those Intent Fusion-like guys. Kind of cool to see. We've got, like, one of each of them. All the wind, yummy. And another ultra. And not only that, a piece of Exodia. Well, there we go. That's awesome. I was kind of hoping we would maybe get some of Exodia as well. I mean, they are all ultra rares in this, right? But there we go. Um, let's see. Um, I think it's left leg because it's his left, not our left. So <laughs> there you go. 
That is awesome, though. I'm glad I actually got one piece of Exodia, and of course, they go with our version of the artworks, too, so it has, like, the spellbinding circle behind it, not, like, the lost art or the Japanese artwork. That is awesome. I actually get a piece of Exodia. Okay. So all, like, the, the high rarity cards are at the back of the box, I guess. Dang. I kind of wish, you know, we either had some more hollows in this or less packs or something to kind of balance it out, because, man, <laughs> it takes a while to get to some of these hollows from, from these Korean openings. I guess I shouldn't complain, though, about more cards, right? File germs, by the way, which is topical now. <laughs> and Regeki! All right, now I'm starting to like this again. We, we're getting the hollows back to back. Regeki, awesome card. Still useful these days and, and much easier to get nowadays, too. I remember it hadn't been that long ago. It was like a $30 card when it came back off the ban list. So it's been a while now where it's much cheaper being in the, the Mega Tens and all that, too, even from last year. It still looks awesome. I mean, it's just a lightning strike, yet it's one of the coolest looking cards, in my opinion. Especially as a hollow. Back in the day, it was freaking annoying, too. <laughs> I hated that when people had that card. That or Mirror Force, right? What else you got now? Oh, we got, like, that Dark Gray, I think it's actually his name. I want to say Goat, but I think it's actually Gray is its name. Well, I don't know if we're going to get a blue white Dragon now, because, you know, we got a couple of Ultras. But I'm still holding out hope, so we'll see. Oh, might be something. Yeah, we well, we got basically the other Regeki that can also hurt you, I guess. This is the one I use more because I never had good luck getting Regeki back in the day, and that is Dark Hole. So I actually get a hold of this one, too. Again, it looks really good with just that simple artwork. I, I don't know. It's always just looked really good. It could be that nostalgia talking, too. I'll admit it. I, I'm kind of a sucker for nostalgia. You guys know me, but that looks amazing. So actually getting Dark Hole as well, that's really nice. And last pack. Okay, what are we ending with? Can we end with a hollow? Because I can say that now. <laughs> so let's see. End with a blue eyes white dragon. I have no idea. Would be amazing if so. Heart of the cards. Help me out. Hit that like button. And. Ah, uh, well, we got Silver Fang. I, I saw Normal Monsters, I was hoping. Silver Fang, that's another one that has a little bit of nostalgia too. So I'll definitely take it. So, yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Unfortunately, we did not get a Blue Eyes White Dragon, but I might have bought a few more of these boxes than just one. So, we might have another chance. Let me know down in those comments if you guys would like to see more openings on this or just some more uh, Korean openings in general. Again, this does not mean I'm not going to try to hunt down an English version of this box or uh, of any of these older packs, obviously. It's just, right now, $20, $2,000. See what I mean? So, yeah, especially... When the economy and all this other junk's going on too. So I kind of hate to spend 2000 on a box just yet. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe with everything going out there. And uh, yeah, of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.